Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Designating and Printing Excerpts, I'm going to show you how you can use the excerpt system within Eclipse. I have a document open here. I'm going to show you how you can insert the beginning and end of excerpts. This system is based on print commands in Eclipse, so when you begin an excerpt, the print command to do so should start above the first line of your excerpt, and the print command to end the excerpt should appear below the final line. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to excerpt this small portion of text. I'm going to place my cursor at the beginning of the first word of the excerpted portion, and I'll press Alt-N to bring up the print command menu. Next, I'll choose Begin Excerpt. In the additional information box, place the page number that you wish to appear at the top of this excerpt. This one appears on page one, and so I'm going to make my pagination match. I'll insert one and press OK. So now everything from this point down will be included in the excerpt until I end it. I'm going to scroll down a few paragraphs. I'll choose Alt N once more. And this time I'm going to choose End Excerpt, and I'll press OK. No additional information is needed here. And so I have my excerpt marked and paginated out in my document, and I can scroll down and make additional excerpts if needed. So I'm going to go down to a different page. This is page four. and I'll go down several pages to make a longer excerpt. And I'll insert the end excerpt. And so now I have two excerpt commands. One is just a bit of text on page one and the other is several pages starting on page four. So now what I can do is go to production and in the production menu, whether you're outputting to the printer, ASCII or PDF, or using the delivery functions, you can use excerpts. In this example, I'll choose output to PDF. I'm going to choose print image options and there's an excerpt option. If I check the excerpt box, only the portions of text that I have marked within my begin and end excerpt commands will be printed. So I'm going to choose OK to print a full size and I'll choose OK once more. And on the first page, I have page one listed because this is where you'll find this excerpt in the document. And it has all of the text that I had excerpted. And if I go to the next page, it's listed as page four, since this is where you'll find the text in the document. And it has all of that excerpted text from that point until the end of the end excerpt command. The system allows you to identify any important pieces of text that your clients may be asking for and print only that information. And again, you can use it whether you're making an ASCII printing to paper or using the PDF or delivery functions. All you need to do is go to the beginning of a portion of text, choose Alt N, begin excerpt, and identify the page number that you want on the excerpt when it's produced. This might be the page number that the excerpt appears upon, but there may be some other numbering convention that you need to adhere to. Once you identify the beginning of the excerpt and the page number it should have, navigate to the beginning of the paragraph after the end of the excerpt, choose Alt N again, and this time choose End Excerpt. And at that point, that portion of the text will be excerpted and available for specialized printing. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772 288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.